Hi everyone. So if you ever... um, I wanted to make my own idea of uh, a water hose winder um, with simple at home resources and um, it'll be super heavy duty like this one like this but maybe not with all this cool stuff on it but how can that be done well you get an old bike then what you do you have an old bike laying around you buy it somewhere and then you get the the thing that churns this then you extend the shaft and then um, you'll be able to create something like this so this will be your wheel pedal the pedal and then the chain will allow this thing to to like turn and um, I was thinking about that the other day and um, see like this it's like a well it's like a wheel right like this one so this is like the wheel pedal kind of and then you turn it left to right which will allow this to come out and then I was thinking because these right here you could buy these 30 bucks see but oh shoot I wasn't trying to click on that see 30 bucks but I wasn't I wasn't trying to um, you know like make one of these and then these here they um they suck you know because they're plastic you need something iron like this like long lasting durable strong that lasts for a very 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 long time and these here well you already know the sun comes and just eats away at the plastic makes it all brittle breaks apart and then eventually you can't even crank this thing you can't even turn it so <sighs> it would have to be like this see the shaft inside is extended and then you could use the rims why the fuck not the rims on the sides and then you could put a tube in in um for the um to hold this room and this room together and then um just like how you see in the bike thing here they use um like these bolts so you put the bolt on this side and then the other side and then um, well I don't know I don't know what they do to I don't know, they do something. I gotta like really look into this thing. See, they connect one end here. And that end won't get untangled. Somehow. I don't really know how that works. Um, 
it's mind boggling. But so like if they turn this thing left, this this other hose here won't get jammed. Um see like this. What's preventing it from getting jammed or from untangling from itself? I don't know. Those are things I gotta like really look into, honestly. Um, but I don't know. I was thinking that this would be a cheap way, affordable way to make a um, a hose that will be super, super heavy duty. These cost two hundred bucks. Um, I mean, no one has money for that. Um, these other ones that, I mean, this one's cool. A hundred bucks. I mean, this one's pretty cool. Better than the $30 one, for sure. Um, but see, this would be like one ram, another ram, and then you put a tube, like a copper tube or a stainless steel tube or iron tube. You could um, allow the two rims to put pressure against it so you won't even have to weld it if you don't want. And then the the um, the little bolt thing will um, prevent the two from actually falling out. Or you could iron um, weld it together. It's really up to you. And then um, grabbing some iron pieces to create the the uh, foundation. You could put it pour it in concrete or uh, make a base for it somehow or connect it to an exit like a um, like a dolly or something or a little cart I mean you name it it's up to you you could put a uh, outer housing to it make a super cool one I don't know that's why I came up with this invention on Facebook on um, invent or don't invent invent or don't invent and then if you go to my photos I think it's in here um, and basically I did the same concept but the water hose is concealed like it's it's within the the home so if I could find it real quick <laughs> so I could show it to you guys um oh it's right I think uh oh no that's not it mm. It's right here. Permanent oh, hose housing idea. See, so if I can read the description, water hose housing inside a wall like a cabinet, but outside like a commercial water dra dra drawer, drawer, electric sprayer, pressure water nozzle can probably be connected to the water hose winder. So see here this is the outside of the house this wall right here and I, I guess I could throw this out real quick open it up and then go to my tools my tool thing and then um, so so I can show you guys see here this is um mm, well this thing sucks honestly so See, this is, this is the divider right here. This is the outside and then the inside, right? Now, in the outside, you won't see the, the hosting. This is the hose. And this is how it will look in the outside. When you open it, it will look like this, or you could just um, take the hose out like this. And then the inside, it will act like a cabinet. 
And then th these are shelves down here in the bottom of it. You could put store stuff down there. You could put like this is a planner that I put up here. And then there's a little um, plant. Um, and this um, cramp thing, it's not very, very effective. And for some reason, um, yeah, see, I don't know, but, um, now see like this here is a plant and then I could change the color. Let's do like a yellow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, green. Whatever. I don't know. I don't really want to take the time to do all this, honestly. That was just a quick idea. So, you know, so when, when you're looking at your home, you want to have all this crap sticking out of the house. You know what I mean? You want to have this. And then, like, imagine if you have people coming over and this stuff's all in the way. It looks ghetto. It looks... It doesn't look professional. You know, you, however you want to look at it, it doesn't look professional at all. You know, it, it, it just, it looks, um, and I've been to a lot of homes, believe me. Like, I've been to um, homes. Wait, home. Homes, um, I don't know, like, let's just go to homes, and then, I, that's like, one of the things that you'll see in a home that's exposed, and so far, I haven't found one, but they're there, believe me. Look at this one. It might be right there. Um, but either way, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. Um, Well, either way, I don't know. This is kind of weird. This is this is a better um, illustration here. This is what most people have when um, when you're looking at their water hoses and stuff. See, like, look at this. All this stuff sticking out. See, all this stuff. It could be housed inside. Like in a storage type of thing. And that's all I was really doing with um, this idea here. See, it's this is your home. And then it's covered. This is the back end. Um, front end. So obviously this is the back end. The back end is the mechanics and um, the water uh, uh, winding. The water winding, the water hose winding looks similar to this. This is what you'll see. And then this is the front end. So it doesn't look so, so uh, like ghetto and ugly looking like this. So this is the, the front end. So that's what I meant here by back end and then the front end. Um, and then obviously when you look at it, it will just look like a little, kind of like a, your electrical, Electrical um, panel outside home. It would just look like something like this, you know, without looking at all the wires and stuff. You know, it's just it looks more professional when it's closed up. 
So in the same way, uh, that's what people have obviously thought of here. So, you know, I kind of threw on a little door to conceal it. See, and this is a close-up image of that, of this idea here. And I guess I could zoom in to show you guys that real quick. Um, see, right there. That's all I did. I just, I kind of took a um, more closer up shot of this. Um, and this is the wall explaining this is the inside, this is the outside, like I showed you guys over here. Um, this is um, showing, you know, like different um, illustrations of this idea. And then I, I even thought about electrical, electric sprayer, pressure, water, wash nozzle. So think about a uh, power electrical um, drill, right? So you have a drill that, uh, that is el electrically powered um, like this one here. So imagine you having like a miniature um, pressure wash washer electric <laughs> so it, it, it'll, it'll be um electrically powered and obviously it looks like there's stuff out there already which is great see so um i was just thinking about connectors and stuff like that as well um but see this is um something that could be sold and is basically like selling this box here you know but that you could basically install into your garage into your home and making it permanent like a window like um installing a home window so basically this you know it will be cut out and installed um into the home and obviously you would have to get like some type of um permit and stuff like that for that but it shouldn't be that complicated and i mean i think if it's built within a certain uh, width and length it probably won't even require a um a permit depending on if you um, install it within the um, the studs of the um, the home but anyway um, that that was a quick illustration of like this like installing a window so it looked like something like that um, with installing this water hosting and um and i don't know though if i mean this thing here could be a box you know because i was just thinking like you don't want no bugs and stuff to go into your home and, and stuff like that as a matter of fact what i do is my friend he he buys the the um the bug spray um from like Home Depot or Lowe's, it costs like 18 bucks. And I spray the whole gallon around the house, the whole perimeter of the home. It even allows you to spray it within the home. But I spray this stuff in the water hosting in here. Because if you open this, if you haven't sprayed in there, you'll you'll see a lot of spiders and stuff that you and you just don't want that. So what I do is I spray a little bit of the chemical in there. And it's, it's not bad for your hands or anything. I don't spray it on the on the handle. I spray it on the um, uh, inside of here in the water hose and, uh, and around. So when I open it later on, there's no bugs. And I do that as well for trash cans. The, the, the handles, 
<clears throat> so around the handles even down here there's like a little ledge where you could like pick it up with your hand um here spiders will tend to like build their little um the little nest around there so and, and then the handles in the back as well and then this this thing is a tube so they like going in there so i spray in there as well just anywhere where they could um you know build a um a web is where i spray so anyway this this can actually be um like a box concealed so when you're inside the home it will be like this you know it's it'll be like this completely um and it, it won't be visible to the inside you know so that won't be a worry and like i said it, it'll be multi usable like you could use it as a, a shelf and then the outside it'll be your water hose so um i think it's great for like saving space and utilizing the space that you have by um you know allowing you to have a little shelf inside the home and um and uh you know stuff like that because yeah I mean see all all it was this idea of mine is basically like getting this and then coming up with a with a box for it to conceal it you know and I guess anyone could do that you know you could still put a box around this but and then I thought well what if it was inside so it won't be bulging out like this you know so that that was all it really was um you know so so yep yeah, that was um something that i thought of and i guess i mean i'm not really trying to um you know become rich off of this i mean it would be nice if i made some money but if I didn't, oh well, you know, like, there's a lot of companies already making these things, so, like, what's stopping you guys from making these things, at, you know, like, what I'm talking about, so that the people could install within the, in the, in the garage area, I think that would be a cool idea, and, um, you know, uh, I was thinking uh, to make it where you're pushing a button, uh, to wind it in and wind it out so it'll be connect uh, collect uh, connected electronically so now you won't have to wind it like um, like you you guys would um, you know here with this um, winder thing I was thinking about actually put just pushing a button you open this and you push a button and then it will come out um, or you could either push a button and release it or drag it out uh, depending on what you want to do but when you want to put it in you just walk over here push a button and it'll wind up by itself um, so I think it's a good way to um, for homeowners to keep stay organized so you know the water hose won't be all over the place and um, so, um, I mean, because a lot of people are spending a lot of money on cell phones and shit anyway. So, I mean, what's this? You know, and it, it'll make your home look really nice as well in the process. Um, and this is assuming you have, um, like, not a brick house. I don't know. I guess it could still be done, though. So, like... I don't know. See, like, that's why a lot of people need to get involved with this stuff. There's so many things. This is not the end of the world, people. You know, anyone could do this. Anyone could come up with the ideas. Anyone could add on to this. Anyone can make it better. You know, like, don't limit me. Don't limit yourself. Or limit me. Don't limit yourself type of thing. And that type of thinking. Limit everyone else except yourself. You know? Like, everyone else might tell you that it's not possible or whatever. 
But, you know, you got to think beyond that. You got to think outside of that. So I put this on there, um, you know, a while back. But, um, yeah, I was just thinking um, if you don't really have money and you have a bike lane around somewhere and you're, a, you know, a handyman, then you could build your own out of a bike. And it's so simple to do, and anyone could do it. Um, but it just it just requires a little bit of your time to do it, and that's it. You you, you could have your, yourself your own water winder. And who knows? Like, what if people remember? I was talking about that um, pressure washer, uh, electrical. What if there is an extension cord connected to um, uh, what if there is a um, el electrical um, an electrical um, cord electrical cord like this um, installed with the with the water hose and then you got your your pressure nozzle so you can wash your car so you can wash down your driveway and your um, if you have like um, water fountains so you can like pressure pressurize I mean pressure clean your your fountains because it turns green and stuff so with the pressure of the water hose um, you know you could have a remote control here and then you could push like okay turn on the power so you you click the power and remember it'll be connected with a, um, a an electrical cord without you getting shocked or anything it'll be um, professionally built and constructed to prevent that type of stuff um, now you wouldn't want anyone anything cutting it or you know you don't want your you wouldn't want your dog chewing it or anything like that so you would really want to put this back in its housing you know what I mean so um, now you push a button and it will basically allow you to have pressurized water to, you know, clean around your property and make it look nice. Uh, if you have a patio, you know, because sometimes, like, yeah, we have those little, um, the little gun, gun water sprayers, but, and they're, they are kind of powerful, but they're not, like, super, super powerful, you know. So imagine that. You know, you'll be able to wash your car. Um, it'll act like a pressure, like a, one of these things here, like a pressure gun type of thing. And there's a lot of settings already, so like there's really no limit. Like we we could we could do this all day long. You know what I mean? And look at this. There's even the fertilizer stuff. Like I think there is no there is no limit, and I think that anyone can do it and I think that you know this is not the end I think that um, more people can get involved more people can um, uh, get, uh, come up with their own ideas and you know don't let no one limit you don't let no one put you down don't let no one belittle you don't let no one um, say you're crazy or whatever like you know, what are they doing for the rest of the world besides sitting down and being couch potatoes like myself? I guess we're no different. But anyway. Those were just some ideas. Anyways, if you guys like this idea, um, don't be afraid to go visit my page on Facebook invent or don't invent there's a bunch of ideas here that I posted go you can go here you go to photos 
click on see all albums and there's a bunch of ideas in there um, or just be you know just scroll through my feed and there's a you'll see more um, there in there as well so there you have it god bless everyone much love america and outside of america all the people that god died for everyone you know god died for all of us so you know there's no favoritism there is no just one religion there is one god for all the people god did not just say i'm i only died for a few no he just died for everyone so whoever believes in him could have eternal life with him and could live with him and all that fancy stuff i don't know like i mean you guys could do all the arguing you argue you argue but god loves you you know you guys fight like little girls over who god loves more or what you have to do to earn salvation or whatever the fuck i don't know you know you guys fuck each other no one gives a fuck anyway.